Hi everybody, uh, today I'm tying a Gorrells Hackle, Hackle Shrimp uh, Bonefish Fly. Um, you can tie it in a range of colours and sizes, and it works for other species as well, um, as well as bonefish. So, it's quite a small, simple pattern really. Uh, in the vise I've got a 811S size 6, but you can tie it, you know, down to tens even. You might you might go as big as a four. Um and I'm tying a sort of greeny olive well dark green version, sort of grass shrimpy pattern. Um but you can tie in a range of colours, brown, pink, tan. Um so I have started some lime green, the citrus Danvils and 140 the near and I'm just going to tie in just to get it started I'm just going to tie in my weight which is some medium bead chain eyes I'm using uh, brass but you could use you know silver depending on the colour Three, four, five, six, and I'm tying them so just above the point of the hook, slightly, maybe slightly further back, and I'm just take plenty of wraps to make sure they're secured. thing I'm going to tie in is the uh, antenna, mouth parts or a tail um, of the fly. And depending on where you're fishing, you know, what colour you're tying, oh, you might want to use different coloured um, a different, different colour of material but I'm just going to use pearl pearly uh, crystal flash So I've got um, about half a dozen strands. And these are going to be the tail mouth parts and I'll just catch them on this side of the eye so quite a f and I'm going to fold them over just come between the eyes and tie them down just so that they can't let slip out and I'll just I'll leave them and I'll leave them and just ignore them for the time being. Uh, and I'll get some head cement and I'm in between these eyes and over those wraps just to sort of hold everything. And just take a few more. There's, a, there's an escapee, I'll just catch that with my thread. There we go. Then, um, the next thing is to get a saddle hackle. I'm using Grizzly, but you can use sort of, again, any colour to match the colour of shrimp that you're actually tying. Um, That's quite 
so I'll just catch that in on this on my side and I'll hammer it up to just behind the the bead chain eyes and then I just take this over just for a bit of security and tie, catch it here and if you just hold your thread tight fold it back you can just snap the waist Right, you see that's quite bushy looking. That's fine. I'm using I'm using a dry fly quality um, saddle there. So now we can. I just left this attached because we can keep some of it for. Um, we can use it for this sort of carapace. So I'm just going to trim most of these quite short. Sort of various lengths. And just leaving a couple long. And I'm just folding over the what's left because it's plenty for the whole back if it's folded. Um, so I've now got like I don't know, 12, 15 lengths, something like that. I mean, I wouldn't be worried about I wouldn't worry about counting them. And then come in so that it's tied in still behind the eye and then get the hackle back and before I sort of tie my hackle before I palmer it I'm, I'm just going to build up my chartreuse base here right. and then just got to hammer it forward and fairly open turns make sure you get it even though push your thread, tie it off three turns down pull the stem back three turns back up that's enough to hold in and then just snap it away gives you a nice clean break much better than cutting it and then I'm just going to give it a wee haircut just along the top there and then pull the crystal flash forward I'll we'll just lift it up. There's a wee fibre going forward to die, I don't like that. And then just whip finish. And then the last thing is just trim this to leave a sort of hint of the shrimp's tail and there you have it the Gorl's Hackle Shrimp nice wee bonefish fly um, what's for other species too though? I'm actually tying this um, for myself I'm going to see if I can pick up some bream tomorrow uh, and I've got to see if they'll have a bite of this um, yeah, it's a good a good little pattern. Um, great for skinny water, lands quite softly. It's not you know it's no super flashy, it's no too big. If if you find yourself in a situation where they're 
the fish are a bit spooky and rejecting bigger offerings. It's worth having something like this in your box just to, to throw them something different. So, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did or if you didn't, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks very much guys. Bye.